uh okay so recording has started the meeting is in agree participation meeting is in agreement to abide by a cloud native security code of conduct which can be found in the repo uh i i would really appreciate if one of us can volunteer as a scribe to ensure all actions and primary content is discussed and recorded uh just uh in the link that i'm going to share on the zoom chat you'll find a place to add yourself in the attendance box as well as uh, to volunteer as a scribe so pick the section that says today's date and then add yourself there and with that I think we are ready to get started so today is a working session what that means is we will go through different github issues and prs but before we go and start doing that do we have anyone who is new to the group who would like to introduce themselves tell us a bit more about yourself and we can go from there sure hey folks hey everyone um I'm new to this, just trying it out, seeing what uh, the tax security group is all about. I was at KubeCon uh, recently, and that was interesting. So figured I'll see what it's all about. So yeah, I work on security topics at Sanity, which is a content management system company platform. So yeah, hello, everyone. Welcome, Francis. Always great to have folks after KubeCon uh, interested in this. This is also a good meeting to join to because we'll go into the weeds of how tax security works, what are the types of things we work on as we go through different issues. So welcome. Uh, feel free to ask questions, raise your hand. Uh, we are very informal in most of our communications. So uh, no kind of it just uh, feel free to ask questions and no questions are bad questions. Um, anyway, anybody else? I can also go. Hello, my name is Rian. I am a program manager with the Linux Foundation, working with the CNCF and helping with tag organization. So you will find me poking around your tag, trying to help. And if there's anything that I can help with organization, let me know. Um, yeah. Hey, Rian, nice to see you. I remember meeting you in, during KubeCon, so glad you're here and uh, excited to see what we can do. Yeah. Uh, all right, anybody else? And for folks who just joined, we have our usual thing of adding yourself in the attendance list. So please do that if you haven't already. There is a link in your Zoom chat and uh, you can put there with anything that you want to discuss about as well. Uh, all right, so if, we, if we've covered everyone uh, who wanted to introduce, in that case, let's see what project updates we have. And I see Justin has a quick security pals update. So go for it. Um, sure. So uh, basically, the students have gone and turned in their security pal stuff. Um, some of them, I think, are going to be like we expected, where there's going to be some bad and some good. Um, and I think we're definitely, you know, as the person who's looking at a lot of this, I often get the message of, oh, you know, um, we're we've just uh, trying to turn something in now. Could we have a little bit of extra time? which implies they haven't worked on it for three weeks and they came together for the first time to try to do it a few hours before the deadline and found out that they couldn't do that. Um, but I think that a lot of them are actually pretty okay. So we'll see how they shape up and see what the maintainer uh, feedback is also to the security pals. Uh, one last thing is, is that the flat car assessment finally might be actually moving into the repo had a discussion with that group today. And uh, I think they're just trying to take what they did before and actually get it merged. 
So I'm expecting to see a pull request from that come through. All right, wonderful. Thank you so much, Justin, for the updates. Nice to see board flat car moving forward as well. Uh, I know we have a couple of newish folks, so I'll give some context on security pals and Justin, feel free to correct me or add anything. Uh, so this is in, uh, an initiative uh, Justin has been leading uh, where uh, we have a group of students who are going to do sec security assessments working with uh, maintainers of different CNCF projects. And the goal is to help them learn how to assess projects for security, how to do threat model and uh, modeling. And then as a result of that, the maintainers gain some insights into the security of their own projects. Uh, so that's where we are. And uh, uh, that's like we are in... just one little thing I want to yeah, yeah. tweak a little bit is yeah. usually when we do assessments, there's a two part process. There's the process where the project effectively documents their security. And then there's the process where, um, people who've had experience doing like evaluating the security projects will go through and try to ask intelligent questions and guide them to uh, like make recommendations about these are areas that are weak or strong or stuff like this. And uh, what the security pals are really doing is just the first part. Um, the students are often a little too green to really understand how to make good um, security recommendations for projects. But in terms of documenting what they have, asking questions to fill out that kind of information and building you know, these uh, documents, which are often six to 12 pages long, um, they're, they should, the hope is, is that they're gonna be pretty good at doing this uh, or at least spur the projects to correct all the wrong things in those long documents the students do, um, which makes it more likely that they'll get a self-assessment done. Yeah, perfect. Yes, thank you for that. I think this hopefully gives more insights into how things work, how things are going right now on security pals. Uh, do we have anyone from supply chain group that has an update? Yeah, I can just see what, what's been going on there. The, um, we have been, um, we're working on like a quick, a quick little project to do a quick um, policy, um, based blog post um, type thing, and we'll figure out where that goes once it's once it's written, probably on the the tax security blog or something like that, um, to kind of get us through the rest of this year, and then looking forward to next year for folks who are um, are interested. I think we are thinking about doing another a V two of the um, supply chain security best practices document. Um, which is one of the the white papers that this group has produced, and it, we wrote it a couple of years ago, and I think the space has changed a lot in those years, so I think it should be a exciting new initiative. Uh, I am definitely excited about V two, uh, and yeah, two years back we had so few things that we have today with supply chain, so uh, definitely going to be interesting update and will help folks who are already in progress of their journey in securing supply chains as well as doing uh, or getting just getting started with it. So thank you for that update, Marina. Uh, anyone has any other update? I'll give a quick one on Zero Trust after that. All right, cool. So Zero Trust is another white paper. Uh, that this group has been working on uh, for a few months now. Uh, I got a chance to review it uh, around KubeCon. So I've, uh, most all my comments that uh, were made were addressed. Uh, and so now the goal is to give one last chance in the next one month or so to for folks to review it uh, if needed uh, or if you have time. Uh, I'll share a link to that in case folks are looking at it for the first time. I don't expect we will be able to take in any major changes as we are at the very end of uh, the editing and review process, but definitely take a look. I 
posted the link in the channel, uh, I mean, in the Zoom chat. Uh, and let us know if you have any update. In parallel, we have a ticket uh, that's been created with CNCF where we will work with them, which, which is how we do it is uh, ask them to help out on design or and PDF creation from a markdown or a Google doc. And then uh, that follows with a blog post on CNCF website, explaining why we did this, what are the plans, who this is for. Uh, so take a look at that. Uh, hope is to get this wrapped up sometime in early next year, January or February by, uh, if not before uh, KubeCon Paris. Uh, so things are going along well, yeah, I would say in terms of the timeline so far. Any questions on any updates that were done right now? All right, I'm gonna check quickly in, if in the attendance list, if people have added an update that we uh, haven't covered yet. All right, cool. Uh, so if not, uh, I'm going to start sharing my screen and we will go through the open issues and PRs as part of the working session today. So let me know when you can see my screen. And so hopefully you're able to see our GitHub repo, uh, CNCF tax security. And what we're gonna do is, as you can see, uh, we at some point of time, we had way more issues, but we've been getting really good, uh, mainly thanks to Andres, who, who is one of our tech leads in uh, taking care of so many of these issues and PRs. Uh, so let's look at the open pull request for now. And uh, as we make progress here, uh, we will kind of give some context about what this PR is and where this is coming from. And we kind of go from there. Uh, this one I think is the one of the security pals uh, PR. Uh, this is safe to ignore, Justin, is that right? Because I think you're working on a fork with the uh, groups. Is that, is that accurate? Um... I need to look at this in a little more detail. Okay, the no worries. Pixie, the Pixie one is, uh, hold on a minute. Uh, but why don't you do other things and I'll. Okay, sounds I'll good. You know. Sounds good. All right, cool. Uh, so you might see a couple of depend about PRs. So if you're wondering what is depend about doing here, Basically, if you see uh, the files changed here, it is under a folder called website. And what the hell is a website for tax security? So let's go there and take a look. So we actually have a website for our own tag uh, and many other tags also uh, do have that. Uh, if you haven't visited it, this is the website. It is, uh, I would say, uh, admittedly, uh, consciously uh, not uh, very verbose and uh, very bare bones. This is sort of like a jump start for anyone who is interested in getting started. Uh, and GitHub is kind of hard to navigate sometimes. So this is the details on the main page. Uh, these are the details on the meetings. These are the people you can reach out uh, for any questions. And this actually is a markdown file that is inside content and index.md. So essentially, if you've worked with the markdown websites, this is what we are using. We use Hugo and uh, CNCF helped us set this up. And we also have depend about setup there. Uh, one of the recent changes actually that we made was 
a feedback button, which I was trying to see if we can locate it somewhere here. Uh, but that was added very recently. So add feedback buttons to page. And it should show up on one of the pages. So if you see this while using the website uh, and you have feedback for improvements, uh, definitely add uh, your comments there. And since if is collecting that and then they'll share it with us. So with that, going back to pull requests, or depend on what I see that this is slow suddenly. This and let's open another one. Okay, this was faster. So we need uh, merges. This will resolve. Okay, and is out of date. So we typically go do rebase. And then if we go back here, I'm gonna open you another tab, tab just to be sure. And then we have this thing that runs in parallel uh, as a CI job on GitHub Actions, which will do a bunch of different things like uh, create a deploy preview, look for what pages were changed. We'll set up a linter for Markdown. We also have a spell check that is used uh, that will also run uh, soon. And uh, okay, so, okay, so Marina said rebase and then we have, she's approved it. I think we might need another rebase. So 1160 was a mess that was created by one of my the hundred and something students in my class that didn't know what they were doing. I've closed it and left them a comment. Okay, no worries. Thank you, Gene Justin. Yeah, hopefully there won't be more of that. We caught a couple of them early, but somehow this one just, I didn't notice it until now. So thanks for bringing yeah. it up. Okay, cool. No worries. I think this is fine. Uh, definitely didn't take a lot of time for us to figure out. So that was good. Uh, all right, and then once these are rebased, then basically we can merge them. Uh, I think this has been open for a while and we have got good feedback on this. Uh, so let's take a look quickly if something is missing remaining. Okay, we have two approvals and uh, one LGTM. There is a conflict. Uh, okay, I see. All right, let's try if this is an easy one. Otherwise, we'll look at the issues uh, instead and take care of this later. Oh, this is a simple linter fix. Okay, that's good. So we could... Hmm, interesting. Anyone use web editor more than me? Uh, some reason I'm not able to edit this. Oh, there you go. Now it's working. And how many conflicts are there? Oh, quite a few. Okay, I'm not gonna waste our, everyone's time right now for that. So let's look at issues. And uh, so you'll see here we have different uh, types of issues based on different labels. Uh, and uh, you'll see some like a use case presentation. This is from one of the CNCF projects where they requested a presentation and all of us can request one as well. Uh, what they what looks like uh, they're trying to share is something called auto VX generation for projects with Cubescape operator. And uh, what happens is once they create this type of issue, one of us will ask which meeting time makes sense. And uh, looks like uh, December 13 works. So on the December 13 meeting, we will have this presentation for all of us. And that will be 
a presentation type of meeting. Uh, so I'll add my date here and then December 13, 10 a.m. Pacific and uh, just mm, opening. All right, cool. And if you're curious, what are the presentation guidelines? We can quickly go through that. Uh, yeah, so this is pretty standard. Uh, it should be related to cloud native security. Uh, should fit the charter of the group. Uh, should be scheduled on the agenda with a tag representative, which is not me in this case. Uh, should abide by code of conduct and it should be in uh, example topics, open source project, security use cases, any community efforts, uh, and uh, we definitely do not uh, like to have vendor pitches or marketing heavy presentations or anything somewhat unrelated to security. So that's guideline for presentations in case anyone was curious. And now you know that December 13 is the presentation for this particular topic. Uh, next one is also, I'm one thing I miss doing is change this from triage required to not required. And then let's look at this one. So tag compliance proposal. So we met uh, just for everyone in the group. Uh, we met with some of the folks here and uh, there are discussions ongoing right now in how to help them make progress on this. Uh, I'm gonna reach out to them on what to do. You may see some of these folks a lot in our group as well as they are uh, uh, bootstrapping uh, things related to this topic. But if you are interested in OSCAL and any uh, compliance engineering kind of work, I think uh, please uh, definitely add a comment here. Say that you would be interested to see what the group does. And uh, yeah, keep track of this issue and see where this goes. Um, but I'm gonna remove triage required because we definitely discussed this and there was a presentation on this uh, done as well. Uh, so this was right before uh, KubeCon. So I'm going to close this saying, thank you for the presentation. And then close the issue. Uh, we have some ongoing tickets, by the way, with CNCF, in case you don't see a recording uh, and you want to watch it. For example, if you don't see this recording on YouTube, uh, CNCF Tax Security Channel, uh, reach out to us on Slack. Uh, we will find a way to upload it. We're working with CNCF to automate some of that, also remove the backlog of YouTube videos. Uh, it's been slow going, uh, regrettably, but uh, Hopefully we'll be back with automation. Uh, live streaming has also been a bit snaggy, unfortunately. Uh, all right, so let's go back to the issues. Um, I think I'll skip this because this is probably not that interesting for the rest of the group, uh, but uh, Marina, me and Andy can take care of this later. Uh, on topic of security pass assemble. I think this is in progress. Uh, this is security self-assessment, Karmada. And uh, let's see what they have here. Uh, nice, okay. Thank you for that comment, Justin. All right, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, I don't see anything we would want to add. Uh, Justin, if you are available, maybe something you can share quickly about this uh, project that uh, you proposed about 
applied research sub activity for everyone in the meeting in case they have interest on this yeah um basically a while ago i um you know i wanted to put something out as a blog post at least i thought it might be interesting other people thought it would be an in interesting topic so i jotted that down i actually dictated it um in with text to speech and then um andres decided he wanted to try to get on the cncf blog and he went and like i don't know fixed all the dictation errors and stuff like that in it and pushed with them to to get it out um and i think part of the overall plan that uh he and i somewhat had for this is that i think there's a bunch of these kinds of things that tag security could put out like every three months or so, we could put out something from somebody in the group um, where the idea is to try to be a little um, a little bit controversial, uh, but um, vendor neutral, not, you know, trying to take a whatever. But I tried to have some, you know, to take a moderately, some mildly unpopular opinions in there um, and, uh, you know, back it up with good you know, at least reasonable technical analysis of why, you know, we should consider um, thinking more carefully about these types of things. Um, and so uh, I would like to see other people do this. And when I first talked about it and when that blog entry came out, it was a lot of, oh, yes, yes, yes. I want to do it. I want to be next. I have this idea. I have that idea. And um, since then, all the all those voices have disappeared. So uh, really hoping to see something like that happen, but I've obviously been distracted with security pals and I also shouldn't be the one to write the next one as well. Like other people should jump in and do this. Yeah, we yeah. do have that um, sort of blog post length piece that we're writing up for the supply chain security working group. So maybe this would be a good home for that to, to land in, um, if, if that makes sense. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think I agree. So this is the blog you mentioned, Justin, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, nice. So yeah, so take a look. This is very interesting. I would, if, I mean, if we had to make it sound cooler or funnier, I could come up with a name like reasonable hot take blog sub activity. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I agree. Uh, Marina, if we have a issue open for the one that you mentioned, I'll just link it to this one so we don't lose track of it. Yeah, if we don't have one, I should make one. So I'll go have a look at that. <laughs> okay, cool. That works for me. Um, let's see what else is going on. I want to take a look at proposals actually, because those if are useful and people have interest, we can ask them to add a plus one on that. Uh, let me quickly check if, okay, no, nothing on Zoom chat, so that's good. Uh, all right, uh, CNCF mentorship proposals, interesting. Okay, this been this has been a while since it was open. Let's see. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, John, uh, are you around? Oh, yeah, you are around. Yes. Anything you want to add apart from what's in the issue on this? I'm not sure what the current um, schedule or, or upcoming schedule is like for the LFX, it's LF mentorship program. Uh, yeah. So I submitted this previously it was like a couple of weeks before the the last deadline um and so we should maybe sync up on on what that is um and i i'm super interested still to to contribute and collaborate with folks i think one of the big questions was if there's um you know enough support for potential mentees and also what the work would be if there was sufficient scope for that work and so um my original thought was around the um, 
security audits and, and self reviews and, and things like that. But given the the scope of work that was just done in that space, there may not be as as much there. So um, I'd be super interested if if folks have ideas for for work there. Um, I think we also could could perhaps help facilitate um, and kind of steer potential mentees towards security related projects. Um, now, I I would be totally biased in that. Uh, there's there's a couple in CNCF that I participate with fairly heavily. Um, so I don't know if that, that would be a conflict of interest or not, but um, still, I, I think uh, I think that would be a valuable contribution for the tech security group in just helping to facilitate that if there's a role to play there. Yeah, I think that's very well said, John. I'm just going to check uh, Zoom chat in case I missed anything. Uh, I was going to go to you, Eddie. So thanks for Zoom adding your thoughts on, the, on this. There's plenty of routine security hygiene work that maintainers asked for assistance with during security slam. Ah, okay. That is an interesting thought because it seems like there is desire from folks new to security to do something simple enough that they feel good about and maintainers who are so busy that they are unable to do something simple that's important enough, but just not enough urgency uh, from their side because of so many other balls that they, they have to juggle as a maintainer. So uh, I think, yeah, we could possibly play a role in kind of matching different requirements and uh, different desires of people. Uh, in some ways, I know LFX mentor mentoring or mentorship, I don't know what it is called exactly, was very helpful. Uh, I I remember one of the tag chairs during KubeCon said that uh, not only did the mentee help in the project with very constructive and useful code contributions and non-code contributions, but they became sort of the voice of the project. Uh, in KubeCon uh, and they were like, hey, I worked on, I think it was about uh, one of the Istio projects. I worked on Istio, uh, have you heard about this? And then what the chair was sharing, not one of the chairs here, but some somebody else, I think it was Lynn uh, was, uh, I didn't know like uh, this could like end up making the project more popular as well. And I might be able to get more people to help out on. Uh, so it's definitely worthwhile i think doing this uh, and uh, Eddie, if you know like uh, sort of like buckets of types of work that maintainers wanted help on or if you know like projects that uh, like uh, specific ones that still are looking for help on uh, we can try to see how we can get that uh, collected as sort of a mentorship proposal on LFX and see if people are interested to pick up on that. What do you think? Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, just DM me or or call me as much as uh, as much as I can help. I'd love to. All right, cool. Uh, I think uh, if it's okay, it would be great to for you if you can add a, the some of those uh, details and like the types of work as a comment here, uh, Eddie. So we don't lose track of it. And uh, if you want, like we would rather uh, do a private conversation first, that's fine as well. Uh, no, that's a good idea. Uh, if I don't do it, then come at me with a stick. Yeah, but yeah I'll, I'll do that. All right, sounds good, sounds like a plan. Uh, so I'll just tag you so in case we then both of us don't forget about it. Thank you. And I know you're gonna do something similar for uh, that we did as Cloud Native Security Slam for Kubernetes subprojects as well. So anything that comes out of that as well, uh, we can definitely kind of use this or repurpose it. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. That's um, that's still plugging along. It's uh, we're we're trying to find out whether the uh, Kubernetes folks are happy with because it was two or three maintainers that decided on the original date. And then apparently just everybody came back to them with that's not a good date because just mm. like everybody's traveling on that date apparently. 
Uh, uh, so there's a little bit that's still getting figured out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but but yeah, no, it's uh, that one should be that one should be really fun. Um, that's the uh, Kubernetes Lightning Slam. If anybody needs info about that, you can hit me up also. Yeah, I think definitely Eddie uh, was uh, had a great uh, did a great job with Security Slam on before KubeCon, and we had a nice award ceremony on day one. So definitely reach out to Eddie if you're interested. Um, all right, let's look at how what's the time. Okay, so typically working sessions can be very intensive. We kind of go really deep, uh, so we don't end up doing this for the whole hour. Uh, so we'll about start finish in about seven minutes from now. So like forty five minute meeting. So let's uh, if you have an issue while we are doing this, that's already open here that you want to talk about and we haven't covered, uh, this is the time. Just let me know and we can talk about it. All right, so proposals. And uh, let's see, I think this is not a proposal anymore because we have that white paper work in progress. So I would say, project and we also have a label called white paper. So these labels are helpful for you also if you are looking at the repo, looking at old issues and uh, seeing like, okay, what white paper projects did over uh, created and executed. So what you could do is something like label and this, this works for all labels. I'm just gonna pick, uh, pick white label, uh, white paper uh, label. And uh, there you go. So you'll see all of the issues related to white papers that were created and worked on that are closed. And that gives a good insight into what has happened where there are opportunities to make more progress on. Um, and I know uh, I'm uh, kind of picking up uh, some of the work that Aradhana did on this. So I'll add myself. Uh, just in case and it might make sense to update the description a bit more so let's see oh nice okay so this is how things actually work uh, somebody comes up with an idea people say plus one I would like to work on this or I have some experience, I have some insights. And then as if you see comments like this more and more, uh, then you start collecting different thoughts, uh, different people come together from different perspectives. And then eventually what happens is a new project is created. We have a tax security zero trust channel, if I'm not wrong, which uh, has all of these people now who work together to write the paper and then we go from there and uh, we as chairs and tech leads try to help them out uh, in case they get blocked on anything in case they need any help and so on and so forth so uh, you can also propose an idea uh, just like uh, Aradna did you can add a plus one to any of the proposals or any of the issues really that interest you uh, and if you don't know where to start, uh, just uh, ask ask us on Slack, uh, DM us if you would rather have that conversation one-on-one. -on -one. And if you want to have it public, which is what we would prefer, just go to tax security and say, I want to work on this issue. I don't know where to get started. And then we, one of us can, or more one more than one of us can jump in and help you out. Um, all right, so let's see. And uh, we do have some boards. I think we have tried. Uh, um, Marina, I think we had a very nice board for supply chain uh, group. Do you know where I can find it? Yeah, if you go to projects. Projects, okay. And it's the oh, only one. Works. I don't know where the other five that at the top are, but anyway, this is, <laughs> this is the supply chain one. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I think GitHub has been moving around playing out different types of boards for a while. So it's kind of been strange to move around and not find some projects you created before. But uh, okay, cool, let's see. Uh, 
so this is great uh, anything that uh, has been helpful uh, using this board as a, for a while uh, from working group perspective that we could uh, potentially reuse for any other projects that we have working for which the work is going on or work will happen yeah i think one of my inspirations for creating this was just keeping track of um issues that like aren't currently active and so um we didn't want them open in the general um right. in the general queue but we're still able to have them in kind of the backlog for the working group um yeah. so that's been nice um yeah, yeah, I think I it's, this is mostly up to date. I think I could definitely do a better job of actually making it up, like updating at each meeting, that kind of thing. Anyone else from the working group have feedback on that, actually? Um, what's working, what's not working? Yeah, I think I, that's fair. Uh, what I'm surprised is how are closed issues also showing up as inactive? I'm not, is... I'm not sure. That, I guess that's just the way GitHub labeled them. Yeah, yeah. And that's what I was surprised. Like GitHub should, I would imagine, understand like if it's close, you don't need to add the inactive label. Uh, oh, I see. So it was added here. And then when the new comment was added, it never was removed. Mm, I see. That's why. Okay, cool. That's good. Uh, let's find, let's see. We have two minutes remaining. Let's find the other projects boards that are missing. Oh, and see, oh, there you go. Okay, they're here. So this is also a bunch of different projects that we have working on uh, and we have boards for it. The security assessment SKU is also great. Uh, this is very useful for TOC level updates also. Uh, when we give updates about what the tag is working on, we I've been just linking them to the boards here and it's been really terrific to have a very clear picture of where things are. Uh, so thank you for everyone who works on these boards. And uh, I think we are out of time. So I'll stop sharing. Hope this was helpful for anyone new and who's been in the group for a, for a while uh, about how things work. Uh, any questions before we drop off? Any thoughts about what we did today? All right. If not, thank you everyone for uh, triaging issues and pull requests with me. Uh, this was a lot of fun for me as well. Hope it was for you. Uh, we'll see you next week. And uh, until then, stay safe and see you soon. Thanks. Bye.